Hey, so it's been a long time since I've posted a video tutorial, but there was a developer on the blog that was asking about how to implement push um, local notifications. So, and was also asking about how to approach iOS development. So to answer these two questions, it would just take me too much time to write it out. Uh, so I might as well make this video. First thing, it has nothing to do with uh, what you're seeing right now, which is data structures and algorithms and all that complicated stuff that's for computer scientists, not software engineers and developers. Uh, so to actually get started, you have to go to Apple's iOS developer's guide because who's better to explain to you how iOS works than Apple themselves, right? Um, so, once you go through this, which you have to go through it, the first thing that I guess you'll run into is the app lifecycle. So, the reason I decided to make this uh, tutorial is to actually is because uh, the developer was asking where does the code to register local notification goes and he was asking if it's in view did load and it's f fair to assume that the view did load is the place to put it but it actually isn't view did load means that the view controller's view was in, in initiated right so why does that have to do anything with notifications it doesn't right so instead you want to look at the app lifecycle and all these events are registered to, of course, um, the... Okay, I don't have an iOS project to open. Uh, it's all registered to the application delegate, which you get with all, basically all uh, templates uh, for creating iOS apps. So if you go to the application delegate class, you can see all the lifecycle methods, including uh, the... The first it's not running, then launching, and then uh, coming, uh, becoming active, and then going to the background, and then coming to the foreground, and so on and so forth. Uh, so now, hopefully you can walk away with two um, key points. One, which is how to start iOS development, is to go through this guide. It's very important. The second being, where do I... Uh, handle say global uh, features I don't know what to call them but features like registering notifications and handling URLs or whatever you would do that actually in the application delegate not in the view controller uh, of course you could compose the app delegate and create a notification handler class uh, and there you can actually listen for these states using uh, different notifications like UI application uh, will become active and that class will get the notification and you can handle the uh, registering local notifications over there uh, so yeah I want to keep it short and simple and if you have any questions or suggestions, just post away in the comments.